Okay, so hi there, Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, please do know, guys, that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in for each and every Leo people out there, so just keep that in mind. So, anyway, this month we're looking into a new spread. Um, just a very quick overview on what we can expect. What are the things that might be happening for us for the month of May 2021? And over here, we do have some shamanic messages, oracle cards, to give us um, some form of themes of what we might need to know and confirmation on the issues that actually might be manifesting for us this month of May. So, um... In readings like this, in a spread like this, I usually first look into the middle card of the spread as what is really representing you right now and the energy that you're, you have at this time. So we have here the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is actually a really upbeat energy and, and, and a really wonderful card because it is a, a more of a situation that tells me that, you know, maybe you are so ready about life. You are having a lot of plans. There are things that you want to have. You, there's there's a lot of things that you want to pursue in life, basically. And we do have here the King of Swords and the Strength card over here. So for some of you, this can actually represent either how you are communicating with people or this can rep literally represent some form of uh, a message or communication or a particular person in your life all at the same time. Um, so basically, we are seeing here that, that this can also manifest in a way we're in, you know, some form of tactless communication, tactless words and comments might be um, something right here as well, because we cannot um, we cannot forget the fact that the Knight of Swords is a warrior and, you know, a person that is about to go to a war and we do have a lot of cold energy here. So there could be a situation in your life or in maybe some of you or maybe it's either you or the other person can be quite cold with the way how they talk, with the way how they express things. Um, you know, there's a th there is a lack of sensitivity going on right there, and that could trigger some form of miscommunications here and there. Um, but I would say that you know this is not really a time for you to um to take things too personally, as they might be just you know dealing with some stuff, or maybe it's quite unintentional all at the same time. Remember, this is a very mental energy, very very. Um, you know, not the most sensitive type of situation. This can also be a situation wherein, you know, there could be sudden developments that might be happening or it's going to be a big theme for you this month of May, you know. There could be sudden changes, sudden events happening in your life. Or this could be just a situation wherein you feel that, you know, you want things to get moving, you want things to, to happen, you are quite ready with life, basically. Or are you, really? <laughs> because with our spread right here, we have here the Two of Pentacles and the King of Swords and the Six of Swords. So yes, we are seeing that there are things that you want to push forward. And maybe you have, um, you know, you, you have a lot of ideas in your mind. You have a lot of plans in your head. And, you know, again, um, this could be something really very personal to you. Or it could be something, something happening to a certain project or career endeavor as well. It doesn't have to be a relationship. But it could be a situation that is really important to you. And when it comes to a relationship, this can also manifest in a way wherein, you know, maybe you are wanting to make some form of plan or trip with your partner. You want things to progress. You want things to move forward with that particular person all at the same time as well. We do have here the Two of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Seven of Swords, though. So over here, we are already seeing some form of hiccup, okay? So we have this relationship, and it could be a relationship that suddenly happened, or it could be some form of sudden event that might be happening in the relationship, and it could have a lot to do with your words, how something is being expressed, 
And, you know, when we have this seven of swords here, it, it suddenly becomes tricky. There's something going on in that relationship. There could be some form of sudden uh, manifestation, sudden event that has resorted in the relationship we're in. Maybe you are uh, feeling fishy about, you know, suddenly, you know, what you are very confident about is becoming a shaky ground. So there's something you're not sure anymore. And when we see the, the Seven of Swords, usually it triggers either a sense of ag agitation because there's something that you're not sure. Uh, you don't even know if the things that you are finding out, if the things you're hearing are the truth or not. So when, when, whenever we see the Seven of Swords, you know, there is always an energy here wherein we need to find out what is the truth and what is not. And this could also be a situation wherein someone is thinking too much to a point wherein they are not now able to see the difference between reality and fantasy and all of those kinds of things so there could be some form of tricky situations going on in that relationship and again i would already warn you by now that you need to be very careful with how you talk to people because you might be hurting them in a way wherein you don't really intended to Again, we do have a Mercury retrograde going on. And um, even though the, the Mercury retrograde official is going to start by the end of May 2021, we are actually already having that energy of the Mercury retrograde because we are at the shadow period as we enter the mid of May 2021. Now we have here the Queen of Cups, the Strength card, and the Five of Cups. Now, having the Five of Cups as the last card of the deck already gives us a feeling wherein maybe there is something that you're not going to be happy about. There's something that maybe you are going to be disappointed on. Or you're just focusing on the wrong, wrong things right now. You're focusing on something that did not work. You're focusing on something that you want, but you cannot have, you know, here and now. So there is someone here that is very sensitive about a situation and someone being stubborn about it. So it, you know, I'm getting this vision about a, a, a couple or even though you're not a couple, but uh, regardless of what connection you have with that person, this is more of a situation about you and that person or having some form of agitation, frustration, and anger moments, you know, wherein uh, someone wants to lash out, you know, someone is not agreeing about a certain decision, and someone is, you know, they are both fighting for their own belief system, they're both fighting for their own rights, and that might be causing a lot of confusion and struggle in the relationship all at the same time. But I kind of feel that this is not about, you know, this is not about the power of expressing your own truth. I kind of feel that this is more of a situation wherein um, communication lines are becoming blurry for a lot of you guys to a point wherein it's causing confusion here and there. So you might need to really, you know, uh, be more clear with the things that you say, the things of how you should be expressing things, and, you know, be very mindful of not misleading anyone all at the same time because they might be assuming something entirely different from what you are initially and originally wanting to, to show them or express them. Uh, we have here the card of integration, a uh, shamanic healing oracle card, the self-love, we also have here the letting go, the card of grounding, and discernment. So this is really more of a situation wherein we might need to um we might need to take a pause, you know. I'm not saying to take a pause in the relationship, but to it makes it feel that people in the sign of Leo uh, in their relationship, uh, the people around there, it could be you, it could be the other person, uh, it could be that it's easy and fast for you to make some form of conclusions and you might not listen to other people's opinion or excuses. You want 
you just want to believe what you want to believe, Leo. And that might cause some form of problems in the relationship. And it could be even something very small and petty. But for some reason, you're, you, you just don't want to, to budge in. So that can create some form of struggles here and there. So I would advise you guys to not make anything complicated. Especially if it's not meant to be complicated at all. So you might find yourself very, I would not say emotionally sensitive, but it's easy for you to be very reactive. And, you know, someone might find that very offense, offensive and they might take it very personally than, than they should. So be very open to actually be... Um, have the empathy to actually explain things in a very clear manner with compassion all at the same time. So the last thing that you want to do here is to have some form of miscommunication and create problems in the relationship wherein it's not supposed to exist or happen in the first place. So I would say that this is more of a time for a lot of Leo people to be very, very careful with their thoughts, be very careful with their words, to not suddenly lash out, to not suddenly drop comments that might hurt someone unintentionally. And, you know, if there is something that you can let go, you know, if it's just a small thing, forgive people, you know. You cannot expect your partners or the other person to always be the perfect lover um, or the perfect person for you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so there is really more of a situation here wherein maybe things are not going to proceed in the way that you want. And the only advice I can give you give a lot of Leo people is to learn how to compromise and if things are not working out your way um, try to try to talk about it and don't just push uh, things that you want because you are you know it's because you're having some form of tantrum and you want it here you want it right now so um, yeah this is going to be a time where you need to to hone and practice your own sensitivity when it comes to relationships and with communication with people. So you, this is not really a time for you to just talk and talk. You need to listen all at the same time and make sure you're actually understanding the story and understanding the real situation before you conclude anything. So um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys, Leo. If you do want a personal reading just like this one or something more specifically done for you or if you have any questions that you want answers on, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com. And yeah, I'll see you guys again next month. Bye!